You've been missing because you're too lazy to listen or watch our show. Oh, we're back. Hey, Rachel. Just so we're clear, it's the hair. <laughs> you cut it, you you are cutting in and out, and I'm laughing my took us off because all I'm thinking is it's there. I'm gonna wear a wig next week. You know, oh, I oh, oh, wig. <laughs> wait. So, here, oh, really? Uh, let's talk more, but anyway. So, if you're gonna get so, I'm thinking blonde would be really good, and then there's some other way, like we'll send you some, don't worry, we have a sponsor. And <laughs> when I go to Hilda's House of Pain, I'll ask one of the girls for their wig, and we'll give you a wig. It needs to have an antenna <laughs> in it. Yeah, he needs to have an answer. Oh, cosplay, sure. Um, so. so, welcome to Social Intercoursing, everybody. <laughs> Again, let's stop talking yeah. about hair. It's causing a lot of issues. Apparently. <laughs> We're going to talk about all this, uh, all these <laughs> letters that don't that don't mean anything. It would seem, or but, but means everything to some people. It means so much to Vicky. She left the room. Yeah, yes. I mean. Yeah. I'll Again, this oh, is true. a lot of. Did, did we lose Vicky now? No, no, Vicky yeah. fell off her chair. Right. She'll be back. She's. she's I had. I had to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> she's so polite. Just, she is right. She's, wish, a, she's a perfect co-host. I, I didn't want to sneeze in the mic and be disgusting, so I was like. <laughs> there you go. Hey. No, I wouldn't. I would. I wouldn't spoil a habit of a lifetime. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and welcome back, Dave. Thank you very much. We'll have to have a show with you and just where you're just drinking by yourself next time since you missed last week's show. David doesn't drink. Oh, that would just be sad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't drink. Well, no. Even more I sad. don't really either, but I drank. Rachel, the two sips <laughs> of the soju that you had is not drinking. Okay. Two <laughs> no. sips. Go back. Well, it was, uh, it, it was interesting. <laughs> so. It was interesting, ladies. And, um, you know, it just confirmed my, my absolute belief that. You know that America is probably you know not worth having anyway. So um, yeah, so you can see you can sore you loser, can kind of sore of, loser. You you yeah. can you got well you know we we came second. We don't care. Listen, uh, but you know it, I, it, it, it was it, it was good while it lasted. I'm gonna say, but we I thought well, drink. you know. So I, I have know. no problem with that. I cannot drink. I am not. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. A country that think that a country that thinks that history is a six week old hamburger. You know, it's 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 painful, but you know, you'll get over it. Can I look up? Dave is an ENFJ. Are they competitive? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, know you idea. asked me to do the test, and I did the test, and I thought, mm -hmm. okay, right, and uh, it tells me what I'm supposed to be, but then again, it also tells me nothing. But Vicky seems to know what I am. She had a bet on as to what I was, but um, well, she are you going to start singing the song? Are you, are you um, going to start singing the song from La Caja Fall? I am what I am. Is that where we're going with this? I'm just asking. Yeah. Oh well, we could do the YMCA one as well. That's uh, oh, well, yeah, I see. That's yeah, um, Apparently, Lakasha <laughs> pull for this group's a little too highbrow. Go ahead. Wait, what? What? What is Dave again? <laughs> Just going over. Let's go over everybody's. Okay. Dave E N F J A. A. Rangi is that means. A. So Dave and Rangi are the same personality type. Oh, Does it mean wow. well, you can see, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Actually, I, actually, I'm Rangi all the time. I just, you know, hold on, I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just Brad Pitt. What's the What's the Macau, David? What's the Macau? What's he? What is he? <laughs> I think the Macau is just. I think he has a, a his, his personality falls in the. I'm a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not on the show today. But anyway, okay. So yeah. David and Ranji are M O U S E's, and okay, keep yep. going. They're E N F J A's. Stephen is the E N T J A. E N T J K. Um, yeah. And then Vicky is an I N F P A, and I am an I N F P T. Yeah. So I'm the and, I'm, and I'm a and I'm a Y M C A. So that's where we go. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was. So, I knew they were going to say that. Yeah. Going over. Let's. So Vicky and I are eyes, which are means we're more introvert personalities. 
Okay. Um, oh yeah, definitely. That's why you have a show on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, this is why. This is why I thought when I originally there took it, I was an E because I didn't understand what the distinction was between the two. I thought it meant you either like people or you don't like people. Right. Just to kind of end up yeah, most we, basic. Well, we could all we but could all more, say that we don't like people because we're all alone in a room talking to virtual friends. So. But you have a pirate though. I I'm, am I've got a, it's a Macau, Stephen. If Macau. I can Sorry. choose to do things alone, I will do things alone. I like my self time. I like being mm -hmm. alone. I like my me time. Mm -hmm. The way I uh, approach things in life is a more introverted way, but I can be mm -hmm. very extroverted if I have to be. That's the story um, of my love yeah, life. The, I like the, it alone. Yeah. The way they, yeah. they talk about it, which made sense to me, was that it's how do you get energy? So... If you have well, a tough I have, week, the, I have these, I have these blocks like, on the wall. I just, just put a tape <laughs> on it and it comes out. No. So well, what feeds if your you energy? had a tough week at work, do, do you want to, at the end, right, when, what feeds your energy? So at the end of the week, then, do you want to go out, have a drink with yeah, your like buddies, go clubbing, hang, yeah, be a social, have a dinner party, something, and that makes you feel happy and you look forward to that and that's exciting? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to go home, crawl into bed, put your jammies on, get Netflix, hug your cat, and just eat? And that alone time me time recharges your battery so the next week you can so yeah. we're the netflix well, and bed people yeah <laughs> and you are the party many people a true, many a true words spoken in jest uh, Vic, i don't want to be around <laughs> like, proud of people get your gym jams on you know get your pillow oh i love you <laughs> and your teddy bear no but see that's it's a teddy bear I, it's a puppet yeah. no as an extrovert and introvert I want to be at home. I want to chill after a long week, but I wouldn't mind like having a few friends over at home, yeah, relaxing, well, and just having yeah. a good time. I don't want to be out and out with a lot of noise, a lot of um, stuff going around me. Like right. it's too much overwhelming things, and it's like I just want to relax. My brain needs to relax. I'd rather be at home or an intimate setting. It doesn't have to be at home. It could just be an intimate setting where I feel like, okay, there's not too much that I have to think about or see or yeah, hear. Don't know what I'm yeah. You don't be overstimulated after a, t a long week, basically, yeah. is what you're saying. Now, yeah. someone with an E personality, like you guys, might be like, I've had a long week. I got to go, you know, like, let out some steam and go hang out with the friends, go to a loud car place and, like, just... No. no. It's nothing you have to. That's why I thought Dave would be an I. I think you need to retake it, Dave, sometime, because... I originally, because I had a really public job and I yeah. was around people all the time and I really loved it. And I loved being yeah. with people. And I thought it meant, I've you know, I didn't like I've being done, around look, people at all. I did, I did a lot of public speaking, done a lot of uh, big stuff in big places, lots of shows and exhibitions. I should mean the exhibitions. So, yeah, I love all of that. But um, people, not too keen on them. So it know, doesn't mean so. that you have to yeah. like people. Like you like the whole... Um, Again, what feeds your energy? It's like, oh, what feeds your energy? What? Yeah. If you but have your you, choice you of what like you can do in your free time. To do kind of things like that. You like having things to do. Um, I mean, yeah, you could sit at home with your Macau, but maybe you like going out for a walk with your Macau better instead of sitting out. Mm. Realize his Macau no, is very a much stuffed they, puppet. They have a word for it in Dutch. <laughs> it's called a uh, time mouse, which means a home, uh, a mouse that stays at home. Literally, so I suppose that's yeah, and that's and that's always oh, let's because she said stuck in a lab all week, so that's probably why she wants to wants to wants to go out on the weekend and go for walks. And she doesn't, she's not we we don't socialize lots of parties, but any opportunity she has to grab me out of the house, she does. But I'm quite happy just to you know, you know just be like a, like a pig in my own poo, I suppose, and just roll around well, and enjoy this myself. This is why yeah. MBTIs, it's not the end all be all. It is for fun. You do it and you're like, oh, there. So did you guys read some stuff about yourself when yeah. it, after you took the test? It tells you a little bit. I don't know, Dave, if you read it or you're just like, here, this is what I am. I did it. Not only did I read it, well, I sent it to you guys, so you could read it as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I did. I, I, I wasn't quite clear on the instructions, so I was like, here, you can have everything. So. It's for A's. For A's. We're, sort of, I get yeah. overwhelmed. Well, I'm like, too much, too much. Yeah, I know. I, I, liked liked it. According I was to like, this, oh, yeah. According to this, I'm supposed to be a diplomat. 
So um, there you go. I mean, that's wouldn't be too according to mine i think i'm supposed to be a serial killer so i'm in the right position i'm doing great i mean until they find the bodies i'm technically not one but i'm okay Uh, you see (laughs) you know what that actually means do you know what that actually means steven it actually means that you destroy lots of cornflakes because it's a it's a breakfast cereal so you're out there destroying it all going into the supermarket smashing is vicky going to sleep now um, you know, so that's no. what it means by. That's what I have no idea what. Killer. All I said is I read about it and I was like, "This is interesting." Kind of sounds like me. It's no different than Chinese zodiac. I'm a tiger, and I have the tiger personality. Or I read about the Pisces, and yeah. I'm like, "Okay, I that's got what we're that. saying." It's just kind of taking. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, but but it, 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 I take it. I took it with kind of a grain of salt. I so think most these have a stab. What I am then, if you know all about this stuff, Chinese mm, horoscope. You're, you're a Chinese horoscope. You're just a little powder puff. I don't know. Um, I have no idea. I don't. I barely know that. There, I know there's a tiger and a dragon. There's a monkey, an ox, and a rat. That's all I know. Horoscope. It goes by your the year of your birth. Your birth, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you have and, to tell us your year, Dave. It doesn't. That's oh, like yeah. Well, you, then you can work it. You can just Google it and find out. Then so that's that. That's Dude, that. I can ca- I can name all twelve zodiac signs. At some point, I'm going to hit it right. I'm not like you know. Okay. And zodiac star. Vicky's into zodiacs and zodiac. Then, go on, Vicky. Have a have a punt. Like oh, the Chinese zodiac? No, no, the normal one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. normal one. Are you a Taurus? No. It's gonna be a long show. So his birthday was what a month ago. <laughs> his birthday was literally like a month ago, Vicky, like in June. So whatever was it? June it could is. Be a Taurus. I, you could I had to be a Taurus at Gemini. April. Yeah, yeah, close so enough. April, April June is all the same. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so you're an Aries. Taurus is in April. It's yeah, Aries are Taurus. So she was close. Oh, you're an Aries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't get along with Aries at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I know just that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this is why you guys were talking about dating apps. I, I thought this was interesting yeah. because, like, I had a friend who went on the. Yeah, we said something interesting. And and mm. he said to me, he said, yeah, I can't go into eHarmony. I'm like, why can't you? He says, because they said, um, after he took the test, he goes, none of the tests, there's no one will match me. And I just thought that was the funniest thing. So I'm thinking to myself, what? you got to be kidding what? me. It's like, so I like all these, like, I, I'll read something and someone says, oh, I'm an E, whatever. I'm like, who cares? It's like, you either get along with them yeah. or you don't. Right. So, I mean, I don't right. walk up to people and go, hey, by the way, whatever my M-O-U-S-E is today, I'm like this. What are you? Oh, we're not going to get along. It's like it's the personality. It's the vibe. Right. I mean, whether it's in business or your friendship or in your like, dating and married life, whatever it is. Right. You have to. Um, it's the vibe. I mean, and if I was a company, I would never use this stuff. This stuff to me, I always hate it because they ask you a stupid question like, if Mary and Dick are doing oh, this, yeah. would you do A or yeah. B? And I'm like, no, I would do C. And I just don't take the test. And they're like, but you got to pick one. I'm like, but there's no right answer. It's not, my brain won't work that way. If there's not the right mm-hmm. answer, I can't pick. So like I said, I, I think like you said at the beginning as well, you know, they're easy to cheat after you've done one. You used to keep oh, yeah. giving you all, the, all these things. So they said, well, just thinking to myself, hmm. What would you like me to be? Okay, right, right, right. exactly. Can, and I just well, fill it in. It's mm-hmm. funny, so, but I was reasonably, those, um, you know, uh, a little bit apathetic age, about this. They used astrology to match people up back, back from you know centuries right. ago. Yeah, that's how the matchmakers worked. They did through the years and what's your zodiac? And that's what they used it for. Right, right. And so you know, I thought your blood at, thing was a bit weird. Do, do people actually do? Yeah, I never heard that one. Test. Yeah. Yep. I mean, do you guys know your blood types? No. Oh, red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be yeah, blue, yeah. David. Are you sure it's no. not blue? Yes. No, no, I'm not I sure. Mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm not that poosh. That's your trouble. It's funny. <laughs> I was in the hospital. I had to get a blood transfusion, an oh, emergency yeah. blood transfusion, and they had to pull oh, my. You, blood. you were going out on a date or something? Or? <laughs> <laughs> This is after a vampire. It was no, not a botcher. I just had a surgery complication and I was needed a uh, transfusion. And they had to pull your blood to check your blood type. And I was like, I'm an A. And they're like, nobody ever knows their blood type. I was like, I'm an A. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am, you are. Up. 
they messed up my first test, so they had to do it again. And I'm losing blood. I'm like, stop poking me and taking more blood. And they're like, oh, you are an A. You know your blood type. I'm like, I'm Korean. Ask any Korean. They know their blood type. <laughs> well, and most Koreans are one blood type, too. So we're pretty close. No, huh? There's, uh, it's like, what's the percentage? Google it. It's like A or AB is the majority, and there's a couple O's, but it's a, a vast minority just because of the ethnicity. Oh, I had no idea. Hold on. Do you want me to do, do, me do the Googles? Do the Googles. So yeah. see, or do we I care? I find it interesting. Or do we that care? You blood type. Yeah. Like, I figure yeah, my doctor, that, when they, in a hospital, they're yeah. just going to take it. I figure you just take it and tell me what it is. I'm good. Yeah. So. Yeah. But if you yeah, want to. This is some sort of really person. hot vampire chick, in which yeah. case you say, oh, well, you know, whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever flavor you'd like it to be. You know, well, here's the interesting oh thing for Rachel. Next Thursday will be the sixth and final installment of Twins Blood. And she'll oh, be actually right. finally watch it because she can binge watch it because God forbid she just watches one at a time. She's going to binge watch it all. And we're going to ask her about it. Then. Okay. Okay. Oh, we'll okay. I didn't have to throw that in. <laughs> it's the ne Netflix. It in there. Oh. Um, oh, you made her mad. So going back to the personality <laughs> types for MBTI. So A and T, let's go over what those mean. <laughs> Okay. A is assertive personality, and they are the people who are self-assured, even-tempered, resistant to stress. They don't worry too much. Um, they aim for goals and want successful results, but they won't let nervousness um, color the path to their accompli accomplishments. Okay. Um, and they don't. You don't spend a lot of time thinking <laughs> about your past actions or choices. You're like, what's done is done. That's yep. kind of what it is. Now, T is turbulent personality. That's what I am. And it's power of stress activate. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> turbulent people. <laughs> they're success driven. They're perfectionists and eager to improve. They're mm -hmm. always trying to counterbalance self-doubt by achieving more. And mm -hmm. they push themselves to do better, become better, do better. And stress feeds them to do better. It's like, oh, gosh, no, I did wrong. I got to do better. Right. That is me. <laughs> I'm always self-doubting, like, okay, I got to do better. Um, so that's what the A and the T are for. Now, I want, I don't, there's percentages of it. Like, there's, it says, like, you're 73% A. Wow. Um, okay. And I was, like, 90% T. I'm like, oh, gosh. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, according to this, I'm 52% uh, extroverted. With seventy two fifty two percent. So you're like me, Dave. You're in the middle. You're an ambivert, pretty much. Well, I have that. I had the test a long time ago um, at Cambridge because um, I used to go to Cambridge University because I knew this girl that was doing food technology, and so we, you could get you could eat for free. You could eat all this. They would, they would give you blue hamburgers and and you know pink potatoes and all. You know, just you have to react to it all. But so. So she said, oh, come do this. And one of her classmates, she said, well, I, you know, I'm doing all these tests. So I did a test well, too many too many moons ago. And it came out as an intro extrovert. And I think probably that's what I am at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. so well, I'm 50% oh, on the it. extrovert. 50%? Um, yeah. You're right. You're exactly in the middle? It's 50%. I'm, fi I'm sorry, 57% extroverted and 90% assertive. Who knew? So <laughs> if I'm just... Yeah, no judging. Uh, huh. so you're more of an introvert than you let on. But here's what's really funny. It says my personality type um, mediator. I don't know what that means. So that's somebody else. That's not me. Um, okay. Yeah. So anyway, it's interesting. I, no, I think it was interesting. I, I'm a mediator too. Okay. I think, aren't I? I don't think that was mine. Mediator. I don't think that was mine. It just means, no, I'm a mediator too. It just means that. Protagonist we... is what I've got. So. Ooh, so leading man. All interested in how we relate to each other with our personality types. Yeah, well, that'd be cool. Well, as you said, this, this we all talk about each other. Anybody, but. Because ENFJs, <laughs> we've got two ENFJs and two INFPs and one one ENTJ. We are uh, there is a, if anyone watching is interested. <laughs> there is a, I think I need a GNT after that. You guys can go. <laughs> oh, yes. Just Google Myers Briggs compatibility chart, and it's as quick, simple. It gives you the colors and. Luckily, none of Ooh. our personalities are in the red. ENFJ <laughs> <laughs> even, even that one? ENFJs, <laughs> INFPs are actually what they say are an ideal match. Oh, so, well. We are all ideal matches now. 
ENTJ is Steven, and INFP mm. are also ideal matches. So Vicky, you and I are two, speaking to people who we get along well with. Very, like we're personality wise, we're ideal friendships, relationships. We just get along very well. Um, ENFP or no ENFJ is Randy and Dave to Steven. Wait, let's see. ENFJ to ENTJ. You guys are, it's good. <laughs> and the well, network is gone. All I, can, yes, all, right. all I can say is that has made my day. Thank you very much. <laughs> and she's gone. No, it's it now one old fart and two young farts. <laughs> so it's, go. it's, the red is, uh-oh, think about this one through. No red flags. Or it could work, but it's not ideal is a yellow flag. And one-sided match is a lot. <laughs> like, I, I really like you. Please like me. Right. <laughs> it's like green. It, like a darker green is, it's good. It's got a good chance. You guys are good, you know. And then there's ideal matches. So we all get along very well with each other. So. Cool. Lies. Now oh, we know it's lies. Success of the yeah. show. Thank God, I, thank God we screwed the test up before you guys took it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so that here's is another thing I wanted to read off. Sure. Based on people's personality types, there's certain things that you should never say to them. And these are the lines oh, I um, I am, okay okay through all of them for listeners you know they find out what they are isfj if you're an isfj this is something you should never say to an isfj i don't need your help Ooh. never say that to an isfj okay. now steven and um what is your name dave Hey, listen, they have pills they're coming out with for that, no. by the way, now. Yeah. So you won't forget. I, I don't know why. I, I thought, and I thought I was the old one. But there you go. Yeah. I, I wanted to call you Annette, but I, because I was thinking, <laughs> Steven. Yeah, <laughs> you can. Oh, please hey, look, do. Just do. Rachel, Rachel, you can call call me whatever you like, but never call me late for dinner. All right? There so, you go. So you should ask Shirley, Shirley and you just. Ask your significant <laughs> others to take the test. Oh, I don't just, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> Surely you just. Test and never say, find out what combination, what I am, uh, MBTI they are, and never say these lines to them. So, ISFJ, I don't need your help. Don't say that to an ISFJ. ESTJ, if you, if you know someone who is an ESTJ, don't ever say to them, forget the facts, follow your heart. ESTJs are all about, I think, um, fact-based people. So don't ever say to them, forget the facts, follow your heart. ESFJ. Don't ever say to an ESFJ, you try too hard. That's a no-no. Um, ISTP. Don't say to them, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> um, and ISFP, I've got you figured out. Uh, because, okay, so I'm going to rewind. ISFPs are very private people and they value their inner feelings. So if you say, I've got you figured out, they're like, oh shoot, you know everything about me. How I, I kept it private. No, so never say that. Oh, oh wait a minute. Um, oh, what's that one? Because I want everyone to take it just so everyone that's that one, I'm going to go, I got you figured out just for the reaction. <laughs> are you kidding? I'm gonna, this is going to be my new, my new quest. Freak them out. <laughs> yep. Um, they hate being labeled by people. And so if you say oh. it, like, seriously. Uh, e <laughs> ESTP, ESTP, never say to an ESTP because they are the free spirits of the world and adventurers. Never say to them, it's time to settle down. Don't say that. They'll, Who they'll says any of this anyway to people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really annoying, yeah. <laughs> nosy um, people. I know, but to these personalities, it is like the worst thing you can say to them, supposedly. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, ESFP. Okay. Don't take this personally, but. Ooh, yeah. Don't say that. Oh, everybody, hate, everybody hates that. I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh this is my sister. Away. This is my sister, so I should never say this to my sister, which I probably have when we've gotten into big fights. INTJ, never say to an INTJ, you don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. she wouldn't like that. INFJ. Never say to an INFJ because they are the dreamers and they have insight. They have the most intuition and prediction. They predict things. I used to do that. They say, never say to them, that'll never happen. Because INFJs will make... And disappear. Uh, and disappear. Yeah. I disappear okay. and poof out of the, uh, the picture. This, this and then tell you that she didn't poof out. Yeah. And this is Steven. And last week he showed that, yeah, you can't say this to him. Um, ENTJs, oh. don't say to them, you can't do that. Oh, yeah. You can never tell me that. I, I'll <laughs> kick in the door. That's He'll do the happening. opposite. If you yeah. tell him you can't do that, he will do that. <laughs> yes. Um, ENFJ, this is Ranji and Dave. Never tell an ENFJ you're so selfish. Um, hmm. Is it because you guys are selfish people? <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because ENFJs are wired to think about people outside of themselves. They're always thinking about oh. other people. Yeah, so he's used to tell them that. that. Yeah. yeah. So if you I'm, I'm always thinking awesome. about Vicky and, and just, you know, just have one whole British accent. <laughs> so, Dave, maybe that's it don't ever do a british accent to dave that's a mess yeah no i knew, um, she, knew she's doing british accents as well so yeah. even i might get, even i might even i might be able to do one you know okay. <laughs> Going on. For, i mean if people are listening if you're an intp because i said so is a no-no right. infp that's vicky and i and anyone listening infps mm -hmm. stop trying to find a deeper meaning don't tell us to stop trying to find a deeper meaning. Okay. Uh oh, which is true because right. we're programmed worst to find. Thing, huh? So you have to yeah. live in a you have to live in a house without That's a basement. The worst then. thing. I mean, it's just in this. I don't know if it's the worst thing for us, but yeah, I'm always trying to find a deeper meaning in movies, in books, in um, people. Like I know there's mm -hmm. more to you than that. Let me right. find out mm -hmm. more. You know, don't tell me to. Uh, don't do that. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just shallow, so I'll, you, you work that out anyway. So. ENTP, this is black and white. Stop overanalyzing it. ENFP, you're perfectly normal. They don't want to be normal. They don't want to fit right. in a box, so don't tell them you're perfectly normal. Oh, and that's the end. So, oh, those right. are that I, I so, so for all those people who were not perfectly normal, thank you for watching. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now... I, I read something. I wanted to go over how how they flirt. Going back to dating apps, sure. um, but it's too much. It's too much to read. I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. Too much pressure. No, don't, don't, Just too much pressure. Yeah, don't, don't start <laughs> telling Rachel that she has to do something. I mean, no, I know. <laughs> because it. exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't tell her she has you, to do it. If you are yeah. curious are you about how different MBTIs flirt. Look it up. Google it. Google okay. it. That is my answer to everything. Yeah. We can do it right now. Yeah. Go okay. Google it. Um, <laughs> go go on TikTok <laughs> and put Myers Briggs. NBC. People will tell you. There's so many videos on YouTube talking about each personality trait and how they react to things. Yeah, but they, 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 oh, they should only be watching this one. That's the only way. Yeah, she's going to say, this is the one that teaches you the actual right. truth about the Myers the Briggs test. Is right the truth here. about the fact that so you've changed and Vicky can't sleep. There's no yeah. other exactly. place just, on the I'll internet. Here, here, watch. <clears throat> you want to know, Dave? You want to know the truth about how you flirt? Here we go. ENFJs are naturally skilled at flirting. Oh, I'm a terrible flirt. <laughs> I, 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 Annette, I, Annette will tell you that. I'm a terrible, I can't stop it. Yeah. That's and, why Annette, um, Annette's 30 years younger than David, by the way. So that's why. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe it's the David, the little creepy head behind him that's the flirt. <laughs> yeah, you know, he has like the two I've personalities. And like, I've seen this happen to Randy a lot because Dave, you and Randy are, you know, <laughs> Randy's just being nice to somebody and they think they're yeah, flirting. Me too. They yeah. think she's flirting when you're just being nice to somebody. <laughs> so, I'll, tell, I'll, 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 I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a true story uh, because I we always go to the supermarket on Friday and because Annette has stuff, um, yeah. Uh, unleavened bread, bread without yeast in it, so I always have to wait for the, for the lady. And so I'll say to her, the same lady at the supermarket, and then, and I was before Christmas, and I said, Oh, you know, how are you? Uh, how are you today? You know, just normal stuff. 
because um, mm -hmm. as long as I live in Holland, the Dutch still consider I still consider them to be fundamentally rude as a nation. But that's another story. Um, so and and all of a sudden she said to me, "Oh, um, uh, will you be alone uh, this Christmas?" Ooh. And I kind of thought, uh, "Well, no, I sort of probably probably see my kids." Oh, and I came home, and of course I said that to Annette, and she said, "Have you been flirting with her?" So I said, "No, it's just being nice and just you know." She said, "Because well, you know, people don't normally ask you if you're going to be alone at Christmas." If they don't see something else in in what you're trying to say, but um, yeah, just okay. being nice, flirty. What's the difference? Not being rude, I think. <laughs> um, that counts me out. So. Well, okay. yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're, you're as you know as a New Yorker. As, I don't give a shit yeah. about being rude or not. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you. Just subtle as a slice of lemon wrapped around a large gold brick, as I say. There you go. If you if you relate to this, because as an ENTJ, again, you are natural at flirting. You have yes. a way of being very social with others and good at playing your strength. You're skilled at selling yourself to people and gregariously expressing your enjoyable sense of humor. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. And you often prefer to initiate the flirting because a lot of people annoy you. So... <laughs> Yep, pretty not. much. Okay, this part's been the most accurate part so far. Yeah, this is the most accurate part of this test so far, yes. <laughs> and, and anyone who knows me will know that uh, people go, I have all these friends, and I go, I have like three. And everybody else is an acquaintance, so to speak, right? Because if people do annoy me, it's just because I, I, I would rather read a book that's because you're annoying, people. Stephen. That's why people well, that's annoy true. you. But yeah, but yeah, but I do, and I do. I'll, I'm always nice to people, and I guess they take that as flirting. I mean, I shouldn't lick my eyebrows with my tongue. I think that causes some problems. But I think other than that, we're okay. But you know, well, but, yeah. I don't know, Ray. Yeah, that means like he doesn't like us. What is No, I love you very guys. Very fine line between I love all our being fundament, just being fundamentally nice to people, and uh, you know, and inquiring about how they are today, and just showing some form of interest and then all of a sudden you know it's uh, it's flirting but okay you know i live in a, I live in a right, country Rach, full of people with very sharp elbows as they say so everybody's pushing each other and shoving each other out of the way and the, well, the dutch are no one has a sharper elbow no one has well, sharper all... elbows than ajima's than ajima's in the <laughs> subway station that's that's probably true <laughs> but i don't i don't know if um when you say about flirting if, when people flirt with me, I'm just actually too stupid to know it. And I, yeah. and I my friends have oh, told no. me this when I was on when I was single, right. and I would literally we'd be out and a girl would flirt with me, and my friends would be like, "She's flirting with you," and I'd be like, "No, she's not." And she'd be like, "Dude, what do you want her to do? Like get a football and hit you in the head with it?" And she's flirt. I'm like, "No, no, she's just being friendly." So even when people even when people do it today, I'm oblivious yeah. to it because I don't think my mind's not there. When I was single, it wasn't there, and you know now it's not. So I don't. When people flirt with me, I still have no clue. So yeah, well, I think and at my age, it's just, it's just a compliment anyway. So you know, take anything you can get. Especially for males, it's hard to tell if a female is flirting with you. Well, especially after the Me Too movement, we're afraid to say anything to a female. It's like, hello. <laughs> what do you mean by hello? No, nothing, nothing. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> just gonna keep walking. So, so you know. Vicky and I, INFPs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. INFPs are often very skilled at flirting online. Okay. But can become nervous <laughs> when body language is brought into the situation because we're quite awkward. <laughs> wow. But so INFPs may find themselves capable of using their sometimes awkward flirting styles in their favor. Yeah. And their yeah. honesty is often very refreshing quality. That can keep people interested. So we're just very awkward in person. <laughs> so only this is why. This is why. Yeah, this is why when we're on the apps, we get lots of like lots of conversations or hits, and then when they meet us in person, it's just it's like, eh. well, no, oh well. In person, it's just that we're awkward. We're just, kind of, but we use it to our, we use our awkwardness to our strengths, and I don't. We're just honest and maybe too but, honest. But it's refreshing. I, I, Rachel's I really, Rachel's not, really not, much more honest than I am. Rachel's no, super honest when person. she you're when not, she meets guys. guys. Are, 
whatever. You're like, you weren't awkward at all. I mean, you hit under the table for a well, while. Well, they weren't flirting. That, were well, she wasn't flirting so. with you, though. <laughs> she, <laughs> That's she wasn't awkward. So, I don't flirt often, but when I flirt, I'm the most awkward. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That explains and a lot. I, think, I totally understand. I get, yeah. I get it why everyone is single now. I get it. I yeah. can see that, yes. Want to say hi? Oh. I don't know. And I think on that, I think on that note, uh, ladies, in, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we just a better, uh, you know, because it's all getting a bit out of hand here. So I think. Uh, hey, wait, 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 wait before, before, before we leave, though, before we go, very quickly, before you hit the button, because I know that's your favorite spot. Um, <laughs> what's next week's show? By the way, do we know? It's a surprise. I have no clue. I said if we okay. said. Okay. So anybody, yeah. anybody who's watching this that is in the network and knows how to plan shows, please just write in and help us. <laughs> so. I, I have, I have a list of things, but yeah. I have to. Yeah. See if I've got a, I've got a list. All right. I have, a, Don't tell me I have a specific topic in mind, but I want somebody yeah. specific on the show for this topic. So yeah, right. yeah. I talked to Brad Pitt. He says he's not available next week, just oh, so we're no. clear. So I don't know. No, he said he's, he's actually in the UK. Uh, flirt more. Of one. But, uh, flirt more, drink less, uh, drink so more or flirt less. Everyone, Whatever. Go, go find out your MBTIs. Comment again here. Tell us what you think. See you next week. Cheers, everybody. Bye, everyone. David, take a selfie.